Welcome to another one of the Jody Bunting podcast, where today we are talking walking with Roz White, who is a fellow fitness professional. She is owner of Real Results Fitness Studio, the creator of Walk to the Beat, a lifestyle and wellness coach, a PT, a Pilates teacher. Is that everything? Is there anything more, Roz? <laughs> I think that that's about it. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of covers what I, I do. <laughs> but you do, but walking is your thing then. That's your main love um, of life. It's um it's I'm personally I I like to run for my own own um fitness and entertainment, but the the walk to the beat that came about in lockdown and it has been so popular, especially with my older ladies. And it's great for people who are just getting into fitness because you can do it at your own level, which makes it a lot more achievable. Which is, you know, which is what it's all about, isn't it? Just getting it results. Is. Is. Now you're from Bista, and I first yeah. met you a couple of weeks ago when we were at the Rachel Home Fit Pro Supporters yeah. at Christmas lunch. Um, which, first of all, was a lovely restaurant. Did you enjoy it coming up here? Yeah. Today? Oh, that, that food was gorgeous. Yeah, it was nice. And it, it was nice to actually you see everyone through the screen all the time. But, you know, it, it's been a while. Real life since... event. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, my you were sitting next to me and my ears picked uh, perked up when you said the word Bista. Because mm -hmm. most people in the country know Bista. In fact, when I first went there, I called it Bicester because I'd never even heard of it before. Bicester <laughs> is what a lot of people call it, or they spell it B-I-S-T-E-R. Oh, dear. Yeah. But for those of you who don't know what it is, uh, Bicester is famous for Bicester Village, which is basically, it's like a MacArthur Glen, but the next level. It's like yes. top quality, yeah. Chanel, stuff like that. Yeah. And I remember you saying when we were up there that Black Friday was crazy. Oh, it's absolutely insane. You, you you don't get in your car on Black Friday if you're local. It's, it's, it's just no point. Every road in, in and out is blocked up. And I think the, wor the, the worst one was probably 2014 when Black Friday at Bista Village just went so big. And people were actually using the road on the way in the carriageway as a car park. No. It caused absolute chaos. Just... So, so it's a bit I... better organised now. <laughs> I went in the summer when it wasn't a sale or anything and there were still yeah. massive queues and some of the oh. shops you couldn't even get in. I know, I know. They only let so many, the real high-end shops, they only let so many people in at once. Yeah, it's it's um, it's quite chaotic up there. So, uh, yeah, so that was just my, I just had to mention Bista for how I, how I know it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself then. How did you get into fitness yourself? Um, I'd always been quite fit when I was young. I played a lot of sport at school, um, but I actually became an instructor quite a lot later on. Um, I didn't become an instructor till I was 41. Um, I was kind of my youngest was going off to secondary school. I've, I've been told I had to work full time rather than part time within the family business with my now ex-husband. Yeah. I thought, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not, really? not going to be there all the time. Um, there was a few cracks in the marriage by then. And I went off and did my ETM in London um, and qualified at the beginning of 2008. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And, and I just carried on studying. I, I, I've probably, I've done a course every year since. I went all, all the way up to being a tutor, an assessor, um, and when lockdown came, I decided I wasn't doing that anymore. I was going to stay at home more. Yeah. And this is where your online group started. So yes. how did that Walk With The Beat start? Did did you do lots of different things and that was more popular or did you go specifically for the walk? I think um, I, I did Rachel's Business Academy and we were talking about various things that we might, you know, what we could add. And I said, I've got a few new people that weren't particularly fit. And it kind of went from there. I talked it over with the people within the group and with Rachel. And I thought about it, went on YouTube. And um, for some reason, I've been watching old Jane Fonda videos because I used to do them back in the day to get back in shape after having my eldest yeah. boys. And um, she was doing this walking thing. And I looked at it and I thought, yeah, it's probably only from a 
three or four years ago. I thought, Jane Fonda's doing walking. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let, let's have a look at that and then I started looking at a few other people that were doing stuff and then I just thought Do you know I'll, I'll brand this yeah and I've, I've kept it quite simple quite small but it's my son-in-law's actually was saying to me yesterday you know you, you want to start expanding this more online because I'm working between online and the, the community now and it's tough doing both isn't it it's like I'm mentally it's, it's juggling strange. everything yeah yeah yeah, because I think I think a lot of us thought we'd either stay completely online. Some people have managed that. I had still had quite a lot of local people. They wanted to see me face to face again. So yeah. I was eventually pushed back out into the community. But then I got people on board who had come back, who'd moved away from the area and still wanted to work out with me once I went online. And yeah, that, that was a baptism of fire for sure, um, teaching <laughs> online. I'd gone gone to a, um, a meeting with Rachel literally two weeks before we went into lockdown about doing online and about maybe joining the business academy. And, and suddenly two weeks later, we're all locked down. Yeah. yeah the, the, amazing. the strange thing I found with getting into steps and stuff that when we did lockdown workouts, I did um just some step workouts just to try and help people get to their 10,000 yeah. steps yeah Legs, and terms pump loads of different things online yeah I was just baffled and I just couldn't believe it why was this steps workout so popular but I people know. love it don't they they're just the simple stuff marching on the spot is just what people yeah love. all they do is they do we break it down into like um so I do it sometimes I do it circuit style, sometimes it's done like as like add on choreography, but it always comes back to the marching and it's also the, where the less fit can get their their breath a bit and then we'll we'll yeah. build it and we might have like a fast interval. But in between that, it's just basic fitness steps. Um, I don't put grapevines in, I think that's pushing it a bit too oh, far. Yeah. You don't want uh, to put your there's grapevine. enough grapevines in legs, bums, and tums, but we pretty much do everything else. We do side steps, side taps, we do knee lifts, tap backs, whatever. Um, and it's all just kind of mixed up with the walking, and they love it. So, for a newbie, what would you say the benefits are to walking? I, I would say it's don't underrate it. It's something everyone can do. It's a great starting point and it's an easy way to get used to getting your heart rate up and you can you know build on it quite easily. Um, I do on not in the community, but online I do 15, 20, 30 and 40 minute walkouts in my groups that's yeah. online. So they, they have a choice and my my VIP members get walked to be included with all their stuff and they get they can go on to the members hub and do whichever ones they like and it is you know now people have back, gone back to work and everything it's something they can quite easily pick up depending on how much time they've got in the morning they'll do it before work i always get them to write on the videos that they've you know been on so i know who's been on yeah so. check i'm here yeah, check. yeah just tick done yeah now i heard you say the word there walk out instead of work out is that right yeah yeah so clever. yeah right yeah. i'm gonna have to nick that one sorry Rob. Oh. Walk oh, out. It's, it's a great one i, I probably heard it somewhere myself <laughs> yeah but it's, it's it's like you know they do they they they, they say yeah i've done done my what do they call it walk out work out work it all <laughs> that's a tongue twister especially oh. when you're trying to exercise as well yeah, 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 yeah. But um, it, I found that some people really like to go in depth in it. They like to, they would not just put done the workout, they'll say what their step count is. So the average class is 30 minutes. We do between, depending on the pace that you're doing, between three and 4,000 steps and cover a distance of round about an average mile and a half. Occasionally in a faster pace class, we might push it up to 1.7 miles, but it's usually 1.5, which is pretty good. You know, you've yeah, got you've got a, over a third of your daily recommended steps in and um, yeah, covered a fair distance, got your heart rate up a little bit. And do you recommend how often do you recommend your clients to do it? 
it, I leave it up to them. So if a beginner, I would say, you know, just do the 15 minute one, maybe try five days out of seven, if you can, and then build up to doing longer workouts. We do three workouts a week in the community. So three 30 minute workouts. And then, like I say, on the line, they've got the choice of what they do. And do you have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or do you have both? I have, like me? I have an Apple Watch. Oh, great. I love my Apple Watch. I, I, you see, my dad I, bought I, me the, the first one. <laughs> I've been on Fitbit for years and then I, I moved to Apple Watch because I could never understand what's this circles thing they're on about. But yeah, it's addictive, isn't rings. it? Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. You feel guilty if you don't. <laughs> but it is for somebody who is into steps, you know, a Fitbit is a great way to start. But the good thing about Apple Watch, you know, you're getting your heart rate, you're getting your yeah. standing score. So it is, it's kind of the next level to steps, actually, isn't yes. it? Making sure yeah. you're getting a quality workout. Hmm. So, I've yeah. got a, a small online group as well that they do seated exercise and it's just 15 minute workouts. And we do seated walk to the beat as well yeah and right. you know according to this you get the same amount of steps in from seated yeah and even you know i found it's almost like doing squats because if you think about it your quad muscles are lifting that leg yeah. Yeah. and you know when i've done a seated steps it really hurts your thighs afterwards doesn't it, it? does it does and uh, i've um i've got a, a ladies group older ladies group that do morning classes with me and we do seated Pilates and seated core and tone and they say it really works well they they think they work harder than they did when they're at the ladies gym which I used to work at and sadly closed yeah uh, earlier last year so that closed about May um and they they've been using you know the resistance machines do you know the ones I mean yeah that don't really offer a great deal of resistance so what, to like work those out tables uh, nearly as bad yeah <laughs> yeah it's, it's like and they, and they they have to they were trying to get as many reps as they could in oh, no. push 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 and like i said no no we're using the bands and yeah. we're slowing things down so we use well the resistance tubes great. so everyone got used to buying their own equipment in lockdown which was great some of them already had them and i've just Put a link into the group for them to buy themselves um so yeah so that's a, another thing that they do walk to the beat and then they stay and do core and tone seated in the chair with the bands fantastic yeah yeah so so let's talk weight loss so what weight loss mm. benefits have you personally found from fitness and exercise or walking what's your thing you said running didn't you earlier yes yeah so um I, I had depression after I had my youngest child and I had to take medication, which um, made me bigger than I'd ever been in my life before. Yeah. And I, I, after, I don't know, about a year, I felt better and I had a review on my medication and my GP said to me, um, is there anything, you know, if you're feeling better, what could help? I said, I'm fat. <laughs> I yeah. said, There's no two ways about it. I said, I'm it's bigger than I've ever been. I said, I walk a lot. And he said, well, some of it is the medication. He said, well, what did you used to do? I said, well, I used to do step aerobics. And I said, but now with three children, it's harder. And I thought about it, I could actually squeeze stuff in. Um, yeah. So I went back to doing exercise. The diet thing was always a difficult one because I've, I've been, you know, I'm not really a binge eater. I've been a lifelong healthy eater. So it was the lack of exercise. Um, so it was just tweaking, making sure, you know, I was in my thirties then, and it's quite easy to down a bottle of wine if you're not careful. So it was just really making sure I practiced portion control. Yeah. So that's what I did portion control and getting back into exercise. And it took about a year, but I shifted the two and a half stone I put on. Which I, was quite, I was quite happy about. But, it, yeah. you know, I discover loads of people who put on weight just through medication, whatever medication it is, you know, it just plays yeah. with your body chemicals so much, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, because I think I, I put on actually a bit more than that. But I think there was a little bit maybe about a, a stone if it was some inactivity. So probably it was more like three and a half stone. But I would say all the rest of it was from the meds. Yeah, because I lost a lot of it very quickly. 
um, once I'd weaned myself off the first six months was when most of the weight came off. And then it for the other sort of stone, it took another sort of five or six months to get rid of that. Because that, that was the one definitely from probably being a bit lazy. Yeah. And, you know, not because I, I will say though, that medication does make you tired. Yeah. I mean, I used to fall asleep in the afternoons. That's that's part of the medication, how it works, I think. You're meant yeah. to be asleep, to, so you can't even yeah. think about anything. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I wouldn't want to take anything like that again. Um, yeah. I, know, I did a little bit of a, a slide back, and then they realised it probably wasn't postnatal depression. It was actually um, mild bipolar, yeah. which I think most of the people who do our job are somewhere on some kind of spectrum you have to be to get up at that time in the morning not go to bed till that time at night 100%. you've got to be a little bit crackers somewhere along the line you know you sometimes you've got to smile and you've got to pretend you're happy in that fitness yeah. class but you're right you know we we are born with that gene in us i think somewhere. yes yeah yeah <laughs> I, I, feel, I, I can remember that um i hadn't long qualified teaching and I just started my own community classes only about a month before and I was really excited because I was gradually building up the numbers and you know, people bringing their friends and um, about 10 minutes before I was about due to teach my ex-husband said well I'm leaving I've had enough oh. I'm leaving and I just went I can't talk about it now I've got a class to teach <laughs> it was just like that simple I'm going to teach my class <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but this is how you have to be. You have to be so blinkered when you're teaching you fitness, do. don't you? Because if you're not in the zone, you just can't do it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I I would say I did have, I had a really good fitness instructor who became a friend. Yeah. Um, and he he taught a great class. He he didn't do anything too complicated or complex. He just he gave out a load of banter. I think some of the time he did use it as a bit of a pickup. <laughs> oh they all do but, these guys but yeah I, well I, I know that for sure because like i say we were friends and i'd hear everything he got up to at the weekend but <laughs> <laughs> well one day i can remember going into class really early and um he was really upset and i said you know what's wrong with you and he, he said his, his teenage daughter had run away from home yeah. and and i said what are you doing here and he said that i i couldn't get any you know it was too I couldn't get him to cover. He said, I just had to be here. And he was almost in tears. And then everyone came in, he put the music on and just like clicking your fingers, he changed. And I thought, yeah. that's how you do it. And two years later, I was doing it myself. You know, I was teaching and all the, all the traumas going on. And yeah, you just, you've still you do it. Keep calm and carry on. Exactly, exactly. You could, you know, you feel like, oh, I can't get up, I can't do it, I can't go out, but you do it because you are providing someone else's leisure time, you are providing their hour away from their children, yeah, their hour away from their troubles or their half an hour or 45 minutes or whatever it is you do. And, you know, it's your responsibility to give them a good time. You can't go and say, oh, I'm having a rubbish day. It just wouldn't work, would it? Yeah, exactly. This is this is what our business is all about. It is. It so is. apart from walking, which you love, a walk to the beat, what mm -hmm. other general fitness advice do you give your guys? Um, I encourage clean eating, um, as in not too much processed food, get them to practice portion control. Every so often we have little things going on, like every winter we do the little black dress. I've been doing it for 11 years now. Great. And literally they just, it's not even a diet sheet. It's like the healthy eating plate. This is what you, this is what you should be eating. This is what you've got to only have a little bit of, you know, try just to try and get them and cutting down on snacking. Cause a lot of them I know as it gets towards winter there, getting the biscuits out in the evening it's just to try and pull everything back into line so i try and keep it as basic and fun as possible and if you do then when they do get a result which they do if they yeah. stick to it they're sort of like doubly surprised they're saying oh it wasn't as bad as i thought it was <laughs> so yeah i usually do it along with them because by the time i've had a holiday and whatever else 
you want to do it before Christmas yes, as well. I want to do it before Christmas as well. And you've got to road test your own stuff as well sometimes, haven't yeah. you? And any lifestyle advice you give out with that as well? I love to talk to my guys about digestion oh. and sleeping. Oh, sleep. We we talk a lot about sleep. And, you know, a lot of my clients now, they're, they're my age group or older, or they're bringing their daughters along who have often had babies and whatever. And it, it's it's like it is all, all every hormonal health thing to do with women is in in my groups i would say in my classes so we, we go through it all you know like the, the younger ones are saying well i could sleep if i was allowed to sleep <laughs> and then you got the older ones saying well you know like we fight for sleep and we talk a lot about what we can do to to help that share tips and you know i'm i'm signed i've signed up for rachel's menofit plan yeah just really i've been doing it all for a while it's just so i can give it a name so yeah so basically menofit is a menopause program but yes. again it's kind of a lifestyle approach isn't it it's it not is, just a fitness it's all a, it's all about the lifestyle thing you know try and get people out of it they try and think in their head i'm going to go to do lots and lots of classes i'm going to go and run and i'm going to cycle and whatever i'm going to eat what i like and i'm going to be fine and you yeah. need to sort of say yeah we're not banning anything but just get it into perspective and yeah that's kind of that's what it's I, all about. I do have a bit of a no-nonsense approach <laughs> so, it's not a bad thing <laughs> says, uh, well, someone said to me well I, I i have biscuits for breakfast and that's why I'm so tired in the afternoon. And I said, well, you've just told me why. You had biscuits for breakfast. You didn't have lunch. You've crashed and burned, you know? Well, you've got to remember James Smith is currently the world's number one personal trainer. And he's definitely no nonsense, isn't he? Yes, yes. Very much so. <laughs> oh, Right. When I was going through your website, I saw you also taught legs, legs bums and tums. I also yes. teach it. Why do the, our clients love it so much? They do. They do. And I tell, tell you what, I mean, if you're doing it as a guy, you're doing it. The, the women love a man teaching legs, bums and tums. I don't know why. It's all about why. those hip thrusts. Oh, all, all my, my male fitness buddies, they all say the same. I was talking to some of my colleagues about it and they said, you, you know, because I was like, I feel bad making them do legs, bums and tums when it's not so beneficial. But, you know, people have said, you know, at the end of the day, it's got squats in, it's got lunges in, you're kind of working your core. So it's not actually that yeah. bad. And there, and there is so much you can do within it, isn't there, really? Yeah. You know, you can, you can almost make it like a pump style class and not do too much cardio. You can make it a bit dancey. I mean, I, I, I'm always one for a theme. Sometimes it's legs, bones, and tons, Latin style. And, oh, you know, nice. We're, we're, our, our cardio will be comprised of salsa and whatever. Yeah. yeah, I did used to teach them, but, but my knees won't take it now. Yeah. Now, as I said, popular LBT, walking, all these things are all the popular things that people really feel the benefits from. So that's yeah. that's where it's at so my final question for you then what are your top three tips for getting started with walking for getting started with walking well if you if you don't want to go out and see anyone you can do it at home you don't if you're doing it at home you don't even need any special equipment you can do it with bare feet it's fine um and it's just be consistent would be my next tip you know once you've started doing it don't stop you know, write down when you've done it, as I said, encouraging people to write on, on the put posts on when they've done a video. And, you know, just like if you if you find it hard to get out and do it, join a face to face class, make some friends. All, all these things to help you stick with it. So it's, it's kind of making it a social thing, making it consistent and you know finding the way you want to do it whether it's at home or whether it's face to face with me or even getting the few extra steps in walk into the class i do very much encourage that come on class members walk to your yeah. classes walk to the gym yeah. maybe not if you live five or six miles away it might take you 
a long while to get there, but yeah. You see, Ros, I think this is where the school bus syndrome comes in because my my village is four miles away and apparently if you live two miles or closer to the school you can't get the free bus you have to walk so i think that i think that that rule two miles what do you think yes the two mile rule is good <gasps> great Very good. and then on a personal level it's obviously new year it's the fourth of january today happy new year have you made any you. new year's resolutions what are your goals for 2023 I want to run again. I want to get back into running. Not while I've got this cough, although I haven't coughed too much yet. But... No, you haven't. You've no. Got well done. Amazingly, seeing how much I was coughing earlier. But um, yeah, I, I want to not do anything massive. You know, I had knee surgery last year, so um, it, it will be probably more like the Jeff in walk run thing. But I, I do want to do some 5Ks and 10K races again. Have maybe with my this? eldest son he's he's doing it at the moment so make it a family thing yeah have you done the couch to 5k before i have i have i've um well i've taught it you know i've i've incorporated it into my my classes um so last time we did it it's funny how people change after lockdown they said <laughs> yeah we want to do like a couch to 5k but can we do it like walk to the beat style can you kind of like do some 40 that's how the 40 minute classes came uh, about <laughs> actually we don't want to go out if it's raining we don't want to go out if it's cold <laughs> we'll just go on zoom how's that <laughs> have you done your local park run yes yeah i've done 96 park runs oh wow well done mm, what's your pb for the 5k um, my PB is 27 something. I'll never do that again. I, wow, but, well but now I'm, now I'm back walk running. I think the last part when I did, which was a little while ago now, um, I was sort of averaging between 33 and 34 minutes, but for walk running, I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. Wonderful. Right. If people want to find out more about walk to the beat or more about you, where can they find you? Um, they can find me on Facebook. I've got my um, Ross Wyatt Real Results Fitness um, Facebook page. There's a group that people can join as well. They have to ask to join that. Um, that's Ross Wyatt Online Fitness Classes. And if they join that, they get a free online class every week. So that's kind of a, a little incentive. If they join up with that group, I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok. I'm on um, Twitter as well, but I'm not very good at that. And also YouTube, um, which I'm gradually increasing my videos on there. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, did, I, had a look, well. I had a look earlier at one of your Walk to the Beat videos, which was great. Mm -hmm. And I even see on your website, you can go on and book individual classes as well, can't you? Which is great. Yes. Yeah, you can. Yeah. And I'm, I'm about to do like, um, there's a, I'm going to do this fitness for a fiver thing next week. And if you go online, you'll be able to get five 15 minute classes for five pounds that you can keep. Oh, bargain. Yeah. Little That's bargain. Mm. Right. Yeah, little Wonderful. Bargain. Thank you so much for telling us all about Walk to oh, the Village. Thank you for walking. inviting me. And, and Bista Village. <laughs> Bista Village. What did you buy when you went there? Um, some dinner. <laughs> that was it. Just dinner. Oh, wow. I looked at some nice trainers, had some dinner and came home. Wow. There you go. <laughs> don't take children with you. It costs you a fortune. Yeah, it's definitely don't adult do that. Ones. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. And we'll get walking from now. I've got my pink trainers here ready, look, Ros. Yes, yes. <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you need those pink trainers. <laughs> Right, bye for now. Thank you. Thanks, then. See you then. Bye bye. bye. Please remember to like, give me a comment, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.